that Jeff Kaplan from NBC. Let's welcome you here and thank you for coming out, Jeff. Thank you. How is everybody? Good. My name is Jeff Kaplan. I'm with NEC Display. Within NEC Display, we have digital cinema, digital signage, and other displays. Um, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about digital display as a whole, quick overview, and get into a little bit about financing. We want to help you buy NEC products. As I just briefly mentioned, we sell digital cinemas, the big D as we call it, uh, small projectors, possibly inside your concession stand if you want to have digital signage going on, uh, lobby signage, outdoor signage when they, when they drive up to your theater if you want to have video walls out there. If you really want to get high tech, we can get you there. We also have the software which allows you to make your own changes. Uh, really quickly if you're having uh, one show uh, one Saturday night and then you have a second show the next weekend but you're changing up your menu you're changing up your prices you can do all of that on your own okay financing I want to ask a question in the last I don't know five ten years with a raise of hand how many have spent more than no let's say ten thousand dollars or less in any given one year. Anybody in remodel? Ten thousand or less? On Ten thousand. On what? On any any product in your in your theater at all in your driving. Anything from remodeling to a popcorn machine. How many of you spent around ten thousand dollars? Okay. There's one. Keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. One, two, three, four. How many have spent twenty thousand dollars? One. Okay, two. We're asking you to spend sixty to hundred thousand dollars. So we realize that's a lot of money. At the same time, you all hear what's going on. Studios are not going to be doing film. They are going to do film. It'll cost you a lot of money to get film. Film might not be available. So you are being forced to do this. We understand all that. Um, with NEC, we give you options. You can finance with your own bank, All Media Capital, who, uh, if he was here, another option. NEC has a company called NEC Financial, which is a separate company in the United States. It's a captive. Now, what a captive means is it's owned by NEC. And you can all ask me that later if you want, if you can. You can. We offer various different options. We offer, um, we'll get into that. We offer two different financial options. Flexible, structured with leases, uh, loans. We work with all the different uh, virtual print fee companies, the VPFs, but you don't have to have a VPF. You can finance 100%, you can finance 10%. Whatever your needs are, we can, NEC Financial will work with you. We have capital leases. A capital lease, at the end of the term, for $1, you own the equipment. In the meantime, you don't own the equipment until the end of the lease. Some theater owners prefer that. If you have other loans out there, the lease doesn't interfere with that. It's not on the books. Um, you have a fair market value lease. At the end of the term, five, six, seven years, you have a payment of what the fair market value is. Estimated uh, fair market value around twenty-five, twenty-eight thousand dollars at the end of six years, and that's an example. Um, at the end of six years, you pay that. The advantage of a fair market lease or of a fair market value lease is your payments are lower along the way. So basically, depending on which lease term you buy, you're buying your payments. And then there's also a loan. For example, Florida law. Uh, gives you an advantage to actually take a loan instead of a lease for writing off the equipment. The difference is, with a loan, you own the equipment right up front. Just think of it as the car, whether you're leasing a car or buying a car. It's the same principle with the projector. Now, if you can read this from your seat, we will give you the loan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll come to you later. <laughs> Basically, this is just showing you that we're running a promotion. This is the promotion. This you can all read. Right? Okay. 
Uh, we're calling it the easy one, two, three. Step lease option, again, this is just one option. 72 month term, now we're assuming the average system cost is around $60,000. We have the larger projectors for the drive-in theaters. They cost a little more than your server, your lens, and everything else you need with the system. We're coming up with an average cost of 60,000. Yours might be less. It could be 48,000 or 40,000. Or it might be higher, depending on the equipment you purchase and depending on the accessories you buy. Because you know accessorizing is the key. Um, <coughs> the payment structure is simple. From the first two years, your payments are 1% of the total cost based on a $60,000 um, lease, $600 a month. Then from, your, from month 25 to 48, year two to four, uh, you're paying 2%. And then the last two years, you're paying 3% each month. So what it does is allows you, if you're getting VPFs, it allows you to start putting the VPFs into a bank collecting it, adding to it. It also gives you a chance to get into the equipment, get to know what you're doing before your payments go up. But again, what it's really doing is it's taking a 72 month lease, and instead of averaging the payments, it's putting them to the back end. Again, customizing the support for you. Enough of the financing, because it's giving me a headache. Um, expanded distribution channel. NEC does not sell to anyone directly. Um, we use a series of dealers and distributors. Valentine Strong and MIT are our two distributors. We want you to buy from who you are comfortable with. Who have you been buying from? American Equipment, Sonic, any one of those dealers are wonderful dealers and you can buy from either one of them. They will buy from either Valentine or MIT. Again, because NIC, NEC doesn't sell directly. So we have set a network up to allow you to buy, if you've been working with a dealer for the last 5, 10, 20 years, why should you change? You shouldn't have to. Projectors. NEC has a numerous amount of projectors. But the two you care about are the Series 2, as you've heard already, we're building on what you've learned. The NC3200S, 30,000 lumens. It can light up a screen up to 105 feet, 105 feet. I'm sorry, it's our distance is something different. 105 feet wide. It's a 1.2 chip DLP. Does everybody here know the difference between DLP technology and the Sony technology? Yes? No? Okay. Very briefly, there are two technologies for digital projectors out there, four manufacturers. Sony has their technology. And then you have Christie, Barco, and NEC. NEC, of course, is the best. I'm going to that one. Um, but Christie, Barco, and NEC all work off of the Texas Instruments DLP chip. And I usually carry one with me. It's about an inch and a half wide by an inch, by an inch and three quarters wide. It has four million mirrors in a chip this size. Each mirror is one fifth the size of a human hair. Flips back and forth, on and off. When it flips straight, it's reflecting pure white light. When it reflects off, it's reflecting blackness. And you have 36,000 shades of gray for every flipping mirror, multiplied by four million. Add color to that, and you get 32 trillion color combinations. In the digital projectors, you have three of those chips. So you have 4 million, 8 million, 12 million. 12 million pixels working with three different colors for a lot of colors. That's the technology of DLP. And that is why DLP is recommended strongly for your usage. Uh, it, can, it can light your screen up and give you the performance you need. In addition to the 3200, you've all heard about 4K. Uh, 4K is simply more pixels. Instead of 4 million, it has 8 million pixels. And the chip size is a 1.3 chip. You have 31,000 lumens. And there's a few other things with this 4K machine. It maintains constant brightness um, by adjusting the power automatically. And they uh, optimize lamp performance to ensure brightness by uh, 
bringing the light body level up or down, depending on what's needed. All of our projectors for digital cinema are DCI compliant, which is critical if you want to play first-run Hollywood content. They're easy to maintain, uh, quick replacement of all parts. One key on the outside opens the entire product. It's also uh, easy for time for troubleshooting. Dust and oil contamination is resisted by state-of-the-art airflow, and which, as you've already heard, that is a problem with having popcorn oil in the machines. Our airflow <laughs> system reduces that. Improved <laughs> operator convenience. It's really easy to work. We work with multiple servers. So again, you don't have to use any one server to buy an NEC projector. You can use a GDC server, Doremi server, Dolby server. Any one of them work with our products. Doremi right now is DCI compliant. GDC and Dolby will be DCI compliant. They're in the process of it. Now, we talked about projectors. What else, when you come to NEC, it's a one-stop shop for digital signage. Outdoor signs, entryway signs. The one on the top right here is pretty cool. It's 7.3 meter bezel, very small. You can put um, 10 by 10, or 40 feet, 40 inches long, 43 inches, and put 10 of them by 10 of them for a very large video wall. Or you've got a smaller that's 48 inches wide by 28 inches tall. Again, great for digital signage, concession stands. That's just an example of one of our video walls. And that's an example of outdoor signage. So if you want to run it during the day for cars passing by to see what's playing in your theater, these are videos, video displays. You can constantly run the movie, you can run messages, however you want to do it. During the day, these are seen. At nighttime, they adjust down, so they're not as bright. That's my presentation, thank you.